Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you welcome to my channel. Well I know, same makeup, same hair, same clothes, different lipstick. I'm filming a lot today and we are here to dive in in female hygiene tips that you need to know. I'm here to give you some tips what you can do if you wonder over something that it's about female hygiene and things that are going to make your life maybe easier and maybe things you're wondering about, you need answers. This video is for you. Okay guys, so we women and girls, we have many things to worry about and many things to think about. And here are my best 10 different tips that I can give you that I learned through the year that I tried and worked for me and things that other people taught me and told me about because when you're young you don't know so much and maybe you're embarrassed to, tr to ask people to give you some advices so this video is all about that to give some advices and tips about female hygiene so the first thing we girls the most girls have problems with it's ingrow hairs and that's a painful problem and it doesn't look beautiful on the legs and and there are some things that you can do that will help you minimize ingrow ha hairs or get rid of them the first thing you need to know not to wear too tight clothes because when you wear tight clothes your skin can't breathe and when the hair grows can't go anywhere and then it grows in instead the other tip is to exfoliate your skin. There are so many different exfoliate products that you can use. Maybe you can use a brush. Where is my brush? I just, maybe you can use a brush or you can use a glove, but you have to, to know. So different products for different parts of the skin. So you can't use same glove or brush that I have my Parasonic and I have two different brushes one for my face and one for my body so you can't use the same brush for your face and your body you're going to spread bacteria and your skin on the face is much thinner and more sensitive than on the body also in team areas don't use the same product same brush or glove for your intimate areas lady parts that you use for your legs so think about it that's very important Okay, the second step is to, when you sleep, sleep naked. Your skin needs to breathe. And if you do need something on your body when you sleep, then use cotton, cotton pajamas or sweater or what you sleep in. It's very important. Cotton makes your skin breathe and uh, it's very comfortable while you're sleeping. So that's a very good to think about. Maybe sleep sometimes without underwears. That's not bad. That's good for you. Third tip is wash soap when you shower and you have problems with your intimate areas you need to talk about what if you get dry down there and it's itching and uh, when you sweat it doesn't feel nice and you can feel maybe sometimes that you smell that's possible you need to think about what kind of soap do you use when you shower on your intimate parts i have this one this is a swedish brand this is intim easy shaving gel uh, that I use when I shave, shave down there. But also, I use this cleaning wash for intimate care. Uh, this is also a Swedish brand. This is an intimate wash soap, and it's very important that you have, if you feel that you get dry or irritated down there, or you start to smell, it's very important to think about what kind of soap do you use for your intimate areas. Uh, the skin needs to feel soft, and it has. To, it's not going to make your intimate parts dry or smell this one is very good i use it all the time i don't use the same soap for my body as i use my other parts tip number four when you shower it's very important that you use a shower gel or soap it doesn't matter what you have you just use something to take away where that skin or take away that sweat or uh, that you have on your skin only water won't help you especially under your arms it's very important that you use something that will some kind of soap uh, or wash soap that showering gel that will help you feel more clean and get rid of all of bad things on your skin i say this because for some people that's very obvious of course you need a shower gel or soap 
but really as a teacher, I meet many students every day, pupils. They ask me all the time. When they come to certain age, they start, start to sweat and the sweat is starting to smell and they don't know what to do. Sometimes you get lazy. You just hop in the shower, put some water over you and go out, especially children or students, young people in the school after gymnastics when they need to shower. They don't use any shower gels or soaps. And they, after an hour or two, they start to feel sweaty and st they can feel their own smell and they feel embarrassed and uh, they ask me if they can go home and change. So that's why I give you this tip because for some people it's not really obvious. So that's my good tip for you. Okay, so it's also after showering, it's very important to moisturize. And some people, sometimes myself, I'm very lazy. I don't have time and I don't have energy to moisturize. But it's very important if, if you want to keep your skin feel very soft and not feeling dry. I have problems with very dry skin, especially on my legs, and I need to, need to exfoliate often and I need to moisturize my skin every time I shower every day. So that's very important. But one very important thing is to use body lotions without alcohol. No alcohol on your skin. You make your hair ingrow. It's going to irritate your skin. You're going to maybe get some rash. It's going to itch. It's going to feel uncomfortable. Don't use anything on your body with alcohol when you moisturize. Then tip number six is food. You know, when you eat something, and it's hot outside, you start to sweat. If you ate garlic the day before, you're going to feel it. You're going to smell it. That's not good. Also, some types of food is going to make your pee smell and look differently. So keep that in mind. You can Google it. There are different types of food that will, will make you smell when you're sweating. So try to avoid them. I'm not ex what kind of food will do that. I know a couple of them, but not, I'm not expert, but I know that I just know to avoid certain food when it's hot outside and when I sweat because I'm going to smell that food and my pee is going to smell and look funny. Tip number seven, this is very important, okay? It's your breath and sometimes some type of medication, if people use medication, will make your breath smell and will make your mouth very dry Tips that you can use so you don't, so your breath doesn't smell bad is, of course, to brush your teeth. You have to brush every single day, morning and evening, two times a day for two minutes. It's very important. Doesn't matter what kind of brush you use. Maybe you, you use this kind of brush regular or this kind of brush. Doesn't matter. I prefer this one. It feels like it cle cleans my teeth better. So I prefer this one. But doesn't matter which one you use. It's very important. Toothpaste also. Right now I'm using this eye white instant teeth whitening toothpaste. That's an okay job. It's not perfect. That's the best, but I use this one. You don't have to use anything whitening. That's also important. And also one more important thing is, so if you know you have a problem with breath that smells, you need to, after brushing your teeth, use dental floss. I have this kind of, like a twist. I prefer this than the usual dental floss. This is this kind of dental floss that I use. It's very important that you use that. And also what I like to use is month wash. But this one is dirty because I have it in my bathroom. But I use this every morning and evening after brushing my teeth. It will keep my teeth more healthy and my mouth, mouth healthy also. So toothpaste, dental floss and mouth wash. And this part is also very important but people don't think about it. Your breath when you brush your teeth, it's not only brushing these, brush your tongue. Your tongue, tongue keeps bacteria and you have to remove it. The best thing is to use a scrap, I don't know, a tongue cleaner. I have this kind of tongue cleaner. This is new, I haven't opened it. But I use this every day because that I talk to people. I'm very close to people and children every day. I need my breath to smell nice. So I'm very, very specific with product that I use and I'm very careful what I use and that I use everything. 
So one more important thing that people often for forget and don't think about, and it really is important for your skin, for your when you sweat, for your mouth health, for your health in your mouth, for your body, for your skin, it's to drink water. Don't forget to drink water every day. It's very, it's very important. If you drink enough water every day, your skin is going to look fresh, glowy, going to look more awake, healthy, and your skin is going to be moisturized. So that's it's, it is very important to drink water. Tip number nine, and this is very important now when it's getting warm and our feet are out and out there in the world in beautiful sandals on the beach and just taking fresh air. I'm kidding guys. No, really. Your feet, you need to take care of your feet. That, that is very important. They need to look smooth, healthy and also look beautiful. Feet are important. Everything is in your feet. All the feelings, all the nerves, everything is down there. You have to take care of them. So the best thing is when you wash them to use a kind of scrub. I do like a kind of glove when I am in the shower. But then I like to use this kind of, uh, these kind of things of to take off the dead skin. That is very important to take off the dead skin from your feet. Girls, you can go in the sandals in open shoes and your feet look dry. That doesn't look beautiful and it's not healthy for you. So take care of your feet. Use these kind of products. I also just got this one. Samba Foot Fetish Care from Sol Solgenaire. I think I pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry. This one I love, this foot cream. Uh, this go sinks into the skin very fast. It's good. So use one, some kind of uh, cream for your feet. And uh, they also have uh, this cutie. This is good. I love it. I did use it a couple of times. I just got it and I use it every day. This, this is very important for me because I do wear open shoes during the summer. I do put my feet out there in the world and I want them to look beautiful. Girls, I think feet, feet shows what kind of person you are. You need to take care of them. It looks very strange if you look at someone and they look beautiful, look fresh. Their clothes are nice, they smell nice, but when you look at their feet, feet they're dry, look unhealthy. I, I don't want my feet to look that. Now, back to showering. I get these questions a lot. And sometimes some people break a leg or break an arm or for some reason they are sick uh, or, or they are not healthy or have a rash and can't take a bath. What to do? You don't want to smell. It's hot outside. It's warm outside. But you need to feel fresh. So one important thing, what you can't do, if you can't shower, wet a towel, put some soap on it and wash your underarms. You can do that. Uh, clean your body with a wet towel. That will make you feel fresh also. Then another thing, if you can't take a shower, wash underarms. That's important. Wash your underarms, take some soap, kind of soap, wash it, dry it, you're done if you can't shower the whole body or if you're outside somewhere look if you can uh, wet the towel or something and clean your body also what to do down there there are some uh, intim intimate wipes i have this kind of intimate wipes this is natra care soft and strong clinically tested alcohol free no slcs this is pure organic cotton wipes with organic rose calendula and chamomile that I like to have with me when I travel. These are good to use on your intimate parts. Sometimes you feel stressed. When you feel stressed, your skin doesn't feel good. It's not, your skin is going to look dull and it's going to uh, look dry. A good tip that I use when I'm stressed, I don't feel very good, it's to take a bath. And I use Himalaya, this uh, living natural balancing Himalaya herbal bath tea. This is organic wild wild craft botanic. This is rose, calendula, chamomile, chickweed, lavender, soap nuts, Himalaya salt, and Epsom salt. I think is 
This is a sole that I put in my bed and I take a long nice bed and I feel more calm and um, this looks like this. I mean, this is so beautiful in a bathtub, really. I don't know if you can see it, but this is so cute. It's like flowers. So use some kind of bath salt. Also, when you just want to, to, to wash your feet and you put some water in some container and you put your feet in, put some salt in it, Himalaya salt or bath salt, salt, all this kind of product in there to relax your feet, massage them, take off the dead skin, moisturize your feet, and you're going to feel much, much better, you're going to feel fresh, you're going to feel relaxed. It, it is very important, especially these days when we work long days or feel very stressed or we feel very sad and kind of feeling a little bit depressed. Do what you need to do to feel, to calm down. And the health is very important. It is very important. So these are my best tips that I can give you for female hygiene. But of course, these tips are good for men too, so that they are not only for women. I think that was everything, guys. If you have more questions and you're wondering something, please, please write it down below. I will try to answer. I know I'm bad at answering comments. I will be much, be much better, I promise. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. And see you in my next video. Bye.